Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Well, well, Roger Federer and Garbina Muguruza made this a very magical and masterful Wimbledon. What fun to watch. So we thought we'd look back on the championships with a peek at our top Wimbledon winners. Starting off, playing together for the first time, Martina Hingis and Jamie Murray. What a perfect match for mixed doubles. It was Martina's 23rd Grand Slam championship, including her second Wimbledon mixed title. Jamie, you know, he wasn't even planning to play the event until Martina gave him a call. He celebrated this title 10 years after he won his first Wimbledon mixed crown with Yelena Yankovic. Martina, by the way, won this title 21 years after she won the 1996 Wimbledon doubles with Helena Sokova, becoming the youngest Grand Slam champion in open era. And she did it hours after her former mixed doubles partner, Roger Federer, won his eighth singles crown. Upsetting a world number one Wimbledon champ can be a once in a lifetime feat, but make it two for Sam Querrey, who did it for the second straight year. Sam slammed 27 aces and won 12 of the last 14 games, dethroning defending champ Andy Murray to reach his first Wimbledon semifinal. Query upset Murray nearly a year to the day after he cracked 31 aces against then world number one and reigning champ Novak Djokovic. Way to go, Sam. Ivan Lubacic and Conchita Martinez each made their mark coaching champions this year. Ivan joined Roger's team last year, and if you'll recall, he had a fantastic one-handed backhand, and he's been encouraging Roger to drive his one-hander with authority. Roger says working with Ivan has been inspiring. Meanwhile, Conchita Martinez made history as the first Spanish woman to win Wimbledon back in 1994 when she defeated Martina Navratilova. Well, for the championships, she has stepped in for Sam Sumik to coach Garbina Muguruza, encouraging her to play with more margin on her shots and to be a little more patient constructing her points. And boy, did it pay off. Garbina got her first grass court title, defeating Venus Williams who, by the way, held set points in that final, but then seemed to run out of gas as Muguruza got red hot. But even so, Venus is a major winner in our view. Think about it. The 37-year-old was contesting her second Grand Slam final of the season. She beat British hope Joanna Conta to become the oldest Wimbledon finalist since Martina Navratilova back in 1994. She remains a premier player, returning to the top 10 after returning to the Wimbledon final for the first time since 2009. At Wimbledon, fans are so close to the action on the courts that players can very often hear their chatter. Well, when one fan yelled some serving advice to Kim Kleisters during the invitation ladies doubles, Kim answered with an invite out onto the court. Not to violate the all white rule, take a look at what happened. Take it over the knees. <laughs> I really hope we don't have a camera shot from behind. It's over. Next up, upset artists Gilles Muller and Magdalena Rabarakova. Gilles stunned Rafael Nadal in a four hour, 48 minute epic. And what a Wimbledon it was for Magdalena, who arrived in London ranked number 87, upset third ranked Karolina Pliskova, and made it all the way to the semi finals before bowing to Muguruza. Even in defeat, Magdalena was a winner, receiving a consolation hug from Roger Federer and seeing her ranking rise 54 spots up to number 33. And another winner, the pure elation of Marcelo Mello and Lucas Kubat, showed winning the men's doubles final was a true highlight. It was a marathon four hour, 39 minute final, and the pair celebrated as only they can, with Lucas saying later that these are your emotions when your dreams come true. And Olympic gold medal champions Alina Vesnina and Ekaterina Makarova. Wimbledon Golden Girls dishing out a double bagel. First time that's happened since 1953. Now all they have to do is win Australia for the career Grand Slam. And back to Muguruza. She was 
unstoppable, charging through nine straight games in the final. She showed all court skills, attacking the net 52 times in a three-set winner over Angelique Kerber, and she swept Svetlana Kuznetsova in the quarters. Garbina also made history as the first woman to defeat both Williams sisters in Grand Slam finals, Venus this year and Serena last year in the French Open final. She's in the big time now. Here she is chatting with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. And finally, Roger Federer, who solidified his status as one of the most iconic champions in all of sport, capturing his record eighth Wimbledon championship. Crushing an emotional Mirren Cilic, Federer soared to his 19th Grand Slam championship, including his second major title of the year. What a performance from an almost 36-year-old Federer who delivered one of the most dynamic tournaments of his career. He is just the second man in the Open era and first since Bjorn Borg in 1976 to win Wimbledon without losing a set. And he dropped serve only four times in the entire tournament, despite suffering from a cold throughout. One of our favorite moments, seeing Roger's emotion as he reflected on his achievement, watching his wife Mirka and their precious family. You know, a lot of people had written Roger off after his knee surgery last year, but the man says he always believed he could win Wimbledon again, and he was right. And wasn't it a beautiful thing to behold? That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.